So we're very lucky here. When you add fractions, um, you need a common denominator. Okay, it has to be the same. So if we were talking about something like this, like uh, one over seven plus two over seven, well, you're ready to put those two together. One over seven plus two over seven, that's three over seven. But if you have something like one over seven plus two over five, you can't put those together. You'd have to get a common denominator of 35. So that we're, we're very lucky here. I don't even see one in this final exam review. Boy, whoever made this really took out the stuff, the tough stuff that you don't need to know and is trying to get you to focus on what's left on the final. Um, so that makes me think that on the final, if you see one, it's gonna be a common denominator. All right, so you see that we have a common denominator, x minus five and x minus five. So we are ready to just go ahead and put these two together. We'll put them all over one common denominator of x minus five. And then the adding part is where we're adding this binomial to this number 30. So this is gonna be x squared minus 11x plus 30. Okay, I can't combine any of those, they're not like terms. So what do you think's next? Usually when you see a trinomial like this, you're gonna factor. Okay, so we need to factor the trinomial. And the, the reason is when we factor that trinomial, we're hoping that something in the numerator is gonna cancel with something in the denominator. Okay, so I'm looking, when I factor, I'm looking for an x minus five. All right, so let's remember how to factor. This one starts with a one, one x squared, it's an easy one. So we go x and x. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to give you what? Thirty, and they're going to add to give me eleven. So anybody six and five. That's it. Six and five. Okay. So here's six. Here's five. Now, my signs are both the same. You see what I'm circling in red? That plus. They're both the same. And they're both minus. So this is going to be x minus 6, x minus 5. Okay, so my prediction came true. Look at the numerator and the denominator. What happens? x minus 5 and x minus 5 cancel out, right? And what am I left with? X minus six. X minus six, thank you. All right, now, very important here, please note that the X minus six that you're left with is in the numerator. So it stays like it is. If you cancel out and that X minus six is in the denominator, it has to stay in the denominator when you give your answer. The numerator would become one and it would stay in the denominator. But in this case, it's in the numerator x minus 6. Is that what they give for the answer for the 34? I've got to check these answers and make sure they're right. 